What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I appreciate you all tuning in, and I hope you all are having a great start to your weekend. So I got a couple of new bangers from the house to do it today, guys, and uh, I'm excited to share them with you all. Um, so let's start off with this one in particular. So the reason why I wanted to buy this one was because I used to own the original fragrance of this scent. Uh, I want to say like 10 years ago in 2013, yeah. My mom, she bought my brother and I the original fragrance. And at the time, my brother and I, we shared a bathroom. So we would share the fragrance. And, uh, you know, this takes me this takes me back to 2013. And um, this is a very well-known scent, guys. A lot of you may find it overrated or redundant. I just wanted to get it for myself personally to, you know, kind of feel that nostalgia and to take me back, you know, 10 years ago. And uh, it's actually crazy to think that 2013 was 10 years ago. I don't know, at least to me, that's just crazy. But um, this is an amazing scent, guys. And uh, I think it's timeless. It's very well liked in the community. And um, yeah, so Dua did an amazing job making this one smell like the original. And I'm talking about this bad boy right here. That's the one and only from the house of Dua. So this is an, ex an extract de parfum version of Dolce & Gabbana's The One. And they nailed it. They nailed it. It smells 100% identical to the other one, all right? Uh, or to the original. So which I did not know until I read up on the Duo website that I guess the original formulation or the original Dolce & Gabbana The One was released in 2008, which I didn't know. So I didn't know it's been out that long. Um, but uh, yeah, guys, this is an amazing scent. I'm sure many of you already know. You got the orange blossom, the amber, the cedar wood, on the dry down and the tobacco that cedar wood and that tobacco blended with that orange blossom i mean it's just beautiful guys this perfect date night scent i would wear this at nighttime me personally in the fall winter best suited for colder months in my opinion um I wore this one yesterday because I got these fragrances yesterday and this was the first one that I wore because, you know, I just wanted to be taken back and I wanted to remember how amazing this smelled. And I got to say, I got at least eight plus hours of my skin yesterday with this on because a lot of the reformulations now, I've... I've been researching and a lot of people will say that uh, these newer batches aren't, they're not getting any longevity on these newer batches. So that's another reason why I wanted to get an, an extract, the parfum version of the one. So there it is, guys. The one and only from the house of Dua. Ne next one. So this one right here, guys is actually what I'm wearing right now. And I bought this one because I was reading the notes and to me, it came across as an intriguing scent. And sure enough, it is because the longer, I'm, the longer it's sitting on my skin and the more I'm smelling it, the more I'm just becoming attached to it, guys. And it's this bad boy right here, Ocean Bourbon. So this is one of their new releases, guys. I purchased it last weekend and uh, got it in the mail yesterday. So <clears throat> Ocean Bourbon. What you see here in the front of the bottle, that's pretty much what this scent profile is like, guys. But I must say, for an aquatic, this actually has some depth to it, guys. So... 
I want to read the notes off for you guys. So ocean bourbon has marine notes, sea breeze, salt, oak barrel, cognac, whiskey, tonka beans, myrrh, labdanum, sandalwood, moss, vanilla, praline, amber, and musk crystals. So this is sweet and salty, obviously with, you know, an aquatic vibe, right? So you get, this opens up with boozy, this boozy marine quality, right? And right off the bat, you get whiskey, at least to my nose, in the opening, I'll get whiskey and that oak barrel. And this is very salty too, guys. On my skin, it's salty, but that, salty, that saltiness starts to uh, subside a little bit. And um, that's when the tonka beans start to come in. That sweetness starts to come in. And then uh, now it's starting to dry down on my skin. And what I'm getting is that amber and that vanilla. This is a beautiful scent, guys. This this is a banger right here. I'm gonna be wearing this one a lot because I live here in South Florida and this is perfect for this kind of climate right now. So one thing I did wanna mention about this fragrance too, when I first sprayed it this morning, right? This reminds me, or there's a boozy aspect in here that reminds me a lot of City Rhythms Miami. Now, by no means I'm trying to compare the two fragrances, but they both have this same boozy facet that to me, I just think it's similar. They're, they're, they're similar in that aspect because this, the kind of booziness that this, uh, that this marine, this aquatic fragrance has is very similar to the City Rhythm. But see, City Rhythm Miami has a boozy coconut note. This has a boozy, uh, like a boozy marine note. This is really good, guys. Really good. I would approve for date night. Date night. It could be casual, you could dress it up or you could dress it down. But man, that opening is what drew me in because it's very boozy in the opening. It's boozy, it's sweet, it's salty, but it's it's all blended beautifully, guys. And it is unisex too. I think this is perfectly unisex. Man, dude, you guys killed it with this one. <clears throat> you know, I'd give this one a solid eight, but to be honest, as it's drying down, I think that eight just elevated up to a nine because I'm really digging this one, guys. Ocean bourbon, it's boozy, sweet and salty, aquatic. Perfect for if you, were, if you live anywhere tropical, so. Very nice, Dua. I like this one a lot. So that's all I had for you guys today uh, for the out of the two bangers from the house of Dua. Um, I just wanted to say something real quick before I get off. I wanted to give a shout out to a couple of reviewers that I watch uh, on YouTube and Fragcom, guys. I wanted to give a shout out to uh, EQ from Equality Fragrances shout out to you man and shout out to uh tltg reviews ross carlos um i was watching uh equality fragrances channel last night and <clears throat> lately he's been doing like a versus he's been having guests on his channel he's been doing verses and um he did one with uh with darian the bow tie fragrance guy shout out to you man and he did one with uh beer big beer business and shout out to you too. And uh, last night was Ross Carlos's uh, 
it was his turn. So it was uh, Ross Carlos and Equality Fragrances. They did like a top 10, I think it was like a top 10 spring uh, fragrance list. And man, it's just, I like seeing that guys. Cause you know, he's definitely, they're both definitely contributing to the community. And I feel like that's what we need now in the community. You know, it brings everyone together in FragCom. And, uh, you know, I just think that, you know, that's a great idea to have right now. And, and I like it, you know, I've been, I've been watching uh, a lot of the videos. So I just wanted to say that guys and check them out too. So, um, but anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. Uh, I think I'll be putting out a video tomorrow too for a fragrance appreciation. So stay tuned for that guys. Take care and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.